This video featured the official Monster Jam trucks from Spin Master. Get them now. Monster Jam trucks are the real deal. Get your official replicas and bring the action home.
There's a zombie on the loose. Don't let it eat your brains. Oh, wait a second. That's the zombie monster jam truck. It won't eat your brains, but it will chomp down on the competition. That's what it's been doing since Zombie was first unleashed on the world in 2013. So, who came up with the idea for a zombie-themed Monster Jam truck? The fans. Being the, the only Monster Jam truck that was voted into existence by the fans, it means the world because that means they personally have a connection with you. That's right, Monster Jam had a competition where the fans got to vote on several names and designs for potential new trucks. Is it any surprise that fans chose to bring Zombie to life? Just look at it. Zombie is the only truck with outstretched arms that come to life when he's terrorizing the track with its decaying skin design, bloodshot eyes, and a mouthful of rotting teeth. This one-of-a-kind Monster Jam truck is a fan favorite. Over the years, there have been several variations of the truck design, from bald to skeleton to fire. Talk about a horde of zombies. It's like an undead party when fans dress up as zombies themselves at live events. And when driver Bari Musauer extends his arms like a zombie battle cry, an army of zombie fans in the stands answer back. Zombie's biggest moment came in 2020 during Monster Jam breaking world records. And we are here to break a world record of the most revolutions done in a Monster Jam truck in a donut. When Bari set two new world records for most donuts in a monster truck in one minute and the most consecutive donuts in a monster truck. He pulled off 44 donuts in one minute and 58 donuts consecutively, beating the existing records for both. Can you imagine spinning in a Monster Jam truck for that long? Your brains might get scrambled, but at least they won't be eaten. Hey, look at the hand flying across the floor. Now that you've survived an encounter with Zombie, check out more Meet the Trucks videos. See you next time. The Bakugan Brawler has rolled out of the animated show and into the Monster Jam circuit. This is Dragonoid, the iconic character from Bakugan brought to life as one of the coolest looking Monster Jam trucks ever. According to Bakugan lore, Dragonoid is a beast that can evolve on its own. And in 2019, that evolution hit a level never seen before when Monster Jam teamed up with Spin Master to unleash the Bakugan Dragonoid Monster Truck. The fans absolutely love it. Even new fans that come out, they say, man, this truck is so, so cool. But even under the lights at a stadium, it just pops out and they absolutely love it. The design of this truck is also next level. You see, your average Monster Jam truck has about 10 body pieces. Dragonoid has 15. From first concept to the actual uh, design of the truck to what you see behind me uh, has been absolutely amazing. And for the kids to be able to see this in real life, coming to life uh, on a Monster Jam truck, we were really, really excited. The horn and the wings, they're the two most distinct things for the body. They pop out, fans know that it's this truck, especially with the wings flying through the air. You can definitely tell the difference. Look at that horn jutting out from the front of the truck. Those sharp teeth and steely eyes. That swooping profile and powerful wings. When this thing hits a jump, it looks like it's actually flying. And that's exactly what it looked like when driver Camden Murphy hit the high jump at the 2019 Monster Jam World Finals. One thing's for sure. Former Rookie of the Year and Rising Star Camden didn't come to play games. He came to win. He may be one of the newest drivers on the circuit, but he's quickly become a fan favorite thanks to his high-flying stunts. In 2021, Ryan Anderson got behind the wheel of Bakugan Dragonoid 
and won the truck's first ever stadium championship series with an epic performance. Bakugan is all about stepping up to the challenge and battling your heart out. And the Dragonoid truck brings that ferocious spirit into every Monster Jam event as it takes aim at the top spot. That's how this beast rolls. And that's the dirt on Bakugan Dragonoid. Check out our other videos to learn about other Monster Jam trucks. If you're a dog lover, then you're gonna love Monster Mutt. It's a giant dog on giant wheels. Six foot tires, 12 feet tall, big floppy ears, and a long wagging tail. And just look at that panting tongue. When you see that tail wagging, you know Monster Mutt is gonna entertain with some epic tricks that eat up the competition. Monster Mutt has been a fan favorite since it was unleashed back in 2003. Like most dogs, this pup doesn't roll alone. In fact, there are three versions of the canine of Carnage in the pack. The original Brown Monster Mutt, Monster Mutt Dalmatian, and Monster Mutt Rottweiler. And just when you thought the pack was complete, Monster Jam introduced two new out of this world paint schemes, Monster Mutt Dalmatian Ice and Monster Mutt Galaxy. Now that's a positively awesome pack. Monster Mutt has come a long way over the years. It was just a pup when it made its first World Finals appearance in 2003. Monster Mutt! Now, it's graduated to top dog, having appeared in every World Finals since 2008. That's 15 straight years, or 105 in dog years. Adding to all this awesome is Monster Mutt Dalmatian, who is the current high jump world champion. Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Just look at what the Monster Mutt pack can pull off. Every dog loves a bone, and Monster Mutt is no exception. To get this big boy going, the crew chief uses some Monster Jam motivation. He's out here begging for bones. Called begging for bones. He throws a bone on the track for Monster Mutt to chase during a run. Good thing Monster Mutt isn't a dog that likes to bury his bones, or the track would be one giant hole. To get the fans going, Monster Mutt truck bodies are equipped with mechanisms for the tail to wag, ears to flap, and tongue to pant. If you're not ready to roll with the big dogs, stay on the porch. Now that you know all about Monster Mutt, check out more Meet the Trucks videos. See you next time. Monster Jam gets medieval when Dragon claws its way onto the track. Yeah, that's a dragon on really big wheels. With spikes sticking through its scaly skin, long horns curling over its head, and fins ready to cut through air, there's no doubt this fire beast will scorch the competition, literally. Dragon really breathes fire. Check out the flame shooting out of its nose. Dragon is a custom Monster Jam truck that first roared onto the track when it debuted back in 2014. And this beast definitely lived up to its name, leaving a ferocious path of destruction. Just look at Dragon tear up the track. Dragons are mythical flying creatures, but the big air the Dragon Monster Jam truck gets isn't a myth. Dragon has competed in every Monster Jam World Finals ever since winning the Showdown Championship in 2016. The only man brave enough to try to tame the beast is driver Cody Socia. Want to get an up-close look? Fans go nuts when they come face to face with Dragon at Monster Jam pit parties. Look at those fierce eyes. That's what it looks like when the beast is parked but when it comes to competition, the eyes are removed so the driver can see what they're doing on the track. Back in 2018 at the Licensing Expo, a brand new Dragon was unveiled. Dragon Ice. 
This was actually the first Fire and Ice themed Monster Jam truck ever created. Check out that icy blue design, a total fan favorite. Despite its icy look, you know Dragon's fire can never be extinguished. Now that you know the legend of Dragon, check out more Meet the Trucks videos. Have you ever seen a monster truck with a mohawk? Here comes Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. This truck first rolled onto the scene at the 2010 Monster Jam World Finals in Las Vegas. Needless to say, everyone was blown away by the giant mohawk. Look at that jet black, razor sharp mohawk stretching across the entire roof of the truck. Did you know that the Mohawk is made of fiberglass lace broom bristles? Aerodynamic and just awesome to look at. Check out the other details on Mohawk Warrior, like the cool tribal art on the sides of the truck and that face screaming for speed. What's up guys, Bryce Kinney here, driver of the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior Monster Jam truck. Guess what, we're about to get a little shape up here. Right here at the Great Clips tent, we're going to get a haircut. We're going to make sure this mohawk is ready for all you awesome Monster Jam fans. Back in 2016, Great Clips came aboard as the official sponsor of Mohawk Warrior. Fitting, right? Nowadays, you'll see their logo stretched across its massive hood. Mohawk Warrior has been cleaning up the track since its debut appearing in every Monster Jam World Finals from 2011 through 2019. No wonder there's a huge fan base called Mohawk Nation. The man currently behind the Mohawk is driver Bryce Kenny. Before Bryce started driving Monster Jam trucks, he was a professional drag racer. Speed is definitely in his blood. How does he describe his driving style? Controlled chaos and winning the 2019 Save of the Year Award in Houston, Texas proves he pushes it to the limit. In 2020, Mohawk Warrior competed in the Monster Jam Stadium Championship Series Red, winning not one, but two racing championships, a Skills Challenge Championship in Atlanta and an overall event championship in San Antonio. But perhaps the biggest achievement of all Great Clips Mohawk Warrior holds a world record for fastest speed by a monster truck. During Monster Jam breaking world records in 2020, Bryce used his drag racing skills to blast Mohawk Warrior down the track, hitting a top speed of 100.3 miles per hour. And look, that speed didn't even mess up the hair. Now that you know all about Mohawk Warrior, Check out more Meet the Trucks videos. See you next time. I'm Adam Anderson, driving the Megalodon Monster Jam truck, attempting the world record eight truck jump. I'll be using my Spin Master Megalodon RC to get a little practice in before the big jump. So setting up for this jump, the biggest thing in my eyes is that I have the most run at the ramp possible to build the speed I need to clear all eight trucks. Because if I don't, who wants to land on top of another Monster Jam truck? I sure don't. Tune in to see if I make it. Uh, that's not what we're looking for. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna clear all eight Monster Jam trucks. attempt to 
set a world record high jump. I'm gonna run you guys through exactly what I'm gonna do to try and set this world record high jump. First, I'm gonna back Grave Digger up about four or five truck lengths away from this ramp right here. This is my metal ramp that I'm actually gonna be attempting the high jump with. Then I'm gonna hold that thing to the floor until it exits this ramp and Grave Digger is completely airborne. Hopefully I'll be getting about 50 or 60 feet of air so I can beat that record and hopefully land it really smoothly on the backside of this ramp on all four tires. I've got my Spin Master RC Grave Digger right here. I'm gonna give you guys a little demonstration of what I'm talking about. I hope I do that in a high jump. Tune in to see if I break it. What's up? I'm Tal the Duke, the driver of Monster Energy. Now I'm setting the world record for the first full momentum double backflip. So to try it out here, I have the Spin Master 164th Monster Jam truck here, driving down a 100 foot long straightaway, and you're hitting 45 miles an hour. This is where the trick gets real and crazy. You're in first gear, and as you hit the ramp, the front tires hit the pad. This is the crucial part. This is where you hit second gear in the air. This is where you're going from 55 miles an hour with your BKT tires to over 100 miles an hour. You rotate the truck, you're looking down, you're at 60 feet off the ground right here at this point. But yet, yeah, this is where the trick gets really tricky. This is where you commit to the second rotation, into the second backflip, and you wanna have the truck pitched just perfectly to where those BKT tires land on all four evenly the same, and you drive on out. This thing. Look how tall it is. It's probably one of the highest points in Florida. What's up, Monster Jam fans? This is Barry Moosauer here, driver of the Zombie Monster Jam truck. And we are here to break a world record of the most revolutions done in a Monster Jam truck in a donut. To describe that here, I've got a 164th scale Spin Master Monster Jam Zombie Collectible. So just pretend my hand is this 77 foot diameter circle that I'm gonna have to stay inside for the record to count. And I'm just gonna be spinning as fast as I possibly can and maintaining good momentum as well as recognizing where the boundaries are to make sure that we get the record locked in for zombie. Adam 
Anderson here, World Finals champion and hopefully Guinness World Record holder. That is if I get Gravedigger to do a wheelie for nearly 600 feet and attempting the world record wheelie in a Monster Jam truck. So behind the wheel of my 164th scale Gravedigger, I'll show you the attempt that we're gonna make. But this Jersey barrier that we've placed out there, it's very difficult to get the truck to go up this and not be so abrupt that we get the perfect landing to slap the truck up into the slap wheelie and ride it out. but we cannot go beyond vertical and drag the chassis. And once we get to that balance point, we gotta make sure we can ride it long enough to hopefully make it to that 600 foot mark. But it may veer off to the left or the right. And if it does, I'm hoping that the communication between myself and the crew, they can tell me when to stop so I don't damage my truck or anything surrounding it. And hopefully if all goes well, we can ride it all the way out to the end.